It's been a while. Um, I actually planted it to test some things out, especially because I want to try out all the different seeds. You can see here I got a few of these cases here. We're basically talking about about 14 to 15 plants per case. These are 30 gallon boxes. Very durable. They probably last 10 plus years. Especially the foam. And it will last a long time. So as you can see here, I'm trying different things out. Really the way to do this is to plant one every week. So that every week, by the fifth or sixth week, your first one is ready to harvest. But what I wanted to do with this experiment, I wanted to test all the different types. So these guys here are now, oh, I think it is, I must um, remember here for a second. I remember planting them in here is about a week. Yeah, they're just over a week. Let's say eight or nine days. And they were seedlings about a week before that. So they're, they're about, I think it was the second or third of February. And today it is the 17th or 18th of February. So what we're looking at here is a combination of different types of veggies. These ones happen to be wok vegetables in two inch net pots inside this hydroponic system. It's got no pumps. Uh, the only thing I put in here, which is not necessary, but I put it extra, is a an air hose. You can see here, a little air hose I can control with a little valve. Really, this is not necessary, because this system is really a non-circulating, no pump system. However, I decided to add some oxygen to these four tanks, five tanks, just to see how it goes. Um, we got Mizuma here, we got kale, we got um, pak choy, we got some red oak leaves, we got green oak leaves. Here's one that died, you can see this one has to be replaced with a younger one. Um, you can see this thing is a green oak leaf. This one here is a red butterhead, red star. This is a red oak leaf. You know, just over two weeks, all of these. This one was planted about a week later. We got red oak garrison. We got a green romaine. We got a red leaf lettuce. Another one. Different types. And this box was planted the same week that the two first ones were planted. This one is an Adriana lettuce. Going at just over two weeks. This one has to be replaced. Green coastal star. It's a green romaine, basically. And then over here we got, I don't know if these guys are going to make it, lemon balm, just to give it a try. Doesn't look like it's doing well. Although this pesto basil here seems to be doing great. This pesto basil is phew, only a few days old. However, those two over there seem to have died. So I'm going to have to replace some of these guys. Now this hydroponic system is basically a system that you could leave without any air pumps. Now I put these in as an extra. It's absolutely not necessary, but a little bit of extra oxygen, in my opinion, would help. And as you can see here, the foam board's lifted. And you can see inside of this, the roots coming out into the water. And then you can see the air bubbling back there. There you got the air bubbling. Just a tiny little bit to keep circulation going. Not necessary, just an extra. And take a good look at these different veggies. Um, some of them are lettuces for in your salad and some of them are more vegetables for in your wok. Use them as greens. But generally speaking, all of these can be used in your shake as well. And the idea would be to plant one of these boxes every week. Well, at least as many as you want to eat every week. And then by the fifth week, the first one is ready to harvest and you can replant right away. So we're going to be following this system. Just want to have a little good look from this side over here. That's all five of them in a row. 
takes you, you know, very little time and you don't have to do nothing after that. As long as we don't get heavy rain, the system is perfect to go. This is the second day I'm filming. And we are now at the 23rd of February. And you can see some of these guys going. In the back you can hear the aquaponics water running. But this here is hydroponics. Hydroponic vegetables. In a non-circulating system. It's quite a bit of wind today. So the audio might be a bit less, especially with the aquaponics on the back. But you can see the Mizumas taking off. That's the Mizuma. Pak choy. There's a nice little pak choy coming out. You can see the root system. We're starting to go. Hanging down. So that is day. It must be. I don't remember exactly, but twenty-second day. Things are trying to tick up. These guys are a bit younger. And we were like a week later and then these guys here same age the other one so they're about three weeks now from seed that is from seed all right you are the solution and the solution is growing your own now as you can see here the hydroponics, non-circulating hydroponics system is doing great. We are in, uh, I think it's the 28th day or something like that. And we started from seed. And if I remember correctly, it was the 2nd of February. But today it is the 2nd of March. So we're talking about 28 days from seed. This one here is a week older. So that one started around the 7th or the 9th of February. This, the other two here are beautiful. Um, some red oak leaves, green oak leaves. Uh, we got butterhead. Beautiful lettuces. And they are about a month old. So it's basically about you know, 28 days, somewhere around there. Pak choy, Mizuma, Kale all growing vividly really nice we got some air in here but it's not necessary this is a non-circulating system i just added air for the luxury of having a pump beautiful look at these guys nice and juicy that one there I covered over so the sun doesn't go in because that one died a long time ago i never replaced it didn't have any of the same the same one so so they're doing beautifully this is some um, non-circulating hydroponics I want to thank Bobby from MHP Gardner who has really were the one I, I ran into on YouTube that's why I got into this system and of course the original creator Dr. Kratke with his crackly aquaponics or um, hydroponics. Lovely stuff. Grow your own hydroponics. Very cheap and effective way of being in charge of your own food supply. Try it at home. Adriana lettuce. Take a look at that. Beautiful Adriana lettuce. Still not sizing up this way I want, but 
You can see here the size of my hand. This thing is still too small, but we're only at 30 something days, so we should go up to about 40, maybe 45 days max, and I should be at the optimum size. These guys are a bit smaller. We're planted about a week later. And then here you got some nice oak leaves. What beautiful curly little oak leaf. And this one here. Also a nice curly oak. Beautiful stuff. Great to eat. This guy also, this green oak leaf right here. Beautiful center. Sacred geometry expressing itself through the oak leaf, in the oak leaf. Beautiful.